duality of the labor market is very uh, prevalent in uh, Turkey. You have an almost 50% uh, estimated informal economy. Uh, so when you have that dual picture, uh, active activation measures and active labor market policies per se are um, very useful in certain contexts, but at the same time quite um, conflictual in the sense that you are actually uh, using the uh, tax payments, etc., etc., uh, collected by the government uh, in actually delivering these labor market policy measures, uh, which uh, in fact uh, the, the tax base comes from the, uh, the, the workers that actually are in the formal economy, but the informal economy uh, is, is the other dual part of the, the, the picture. And they are, um, uh, in a way, uh, both excluded and not contributing to the to the base. So I think that the um, um, I'm going to refer to the panel again because it was the, the highlighting of the informal economy was no accident because uh, in that dual context it is very difficult to be for or against activation measures. That is my personal uh, opinion uh, because unless you address the informal economy implications of the activation measures would be um, uh, extremely difficult to uh, estimate and measure uh, because uh, on a case-by-case -case basis as a micro-intervention it is of course uh, possible to uh, carry out very uh, elaborate evaluation impact assessments and you of course can evaluate uh, you know how effective uh, certain measures have been but at a more meso or macro level uh, the implications of the spending on active labor market policies and how that extrapolates at, an, at higher levels, at meso and macro levels, um, I think that issue needs to be still tackled. I think that's an issue that we haven't addressed properly yet. 